middle there. The arena that um, we're in at the moment. Watching the um, Thomas Cup tie between Malaysia and Canada. Malaysia has uh, sealed the match, taking an unassailable 3 0 lead as we turn our attention to uh, the first of the uh, doubles. It's men's double two that uh, is on first, and uh, Malaysia they have um, split their two best pairings and uh, put two new pairs together that has never played before. Here it's uh, Nuri Sudin and Suwiyik. Suwiyik, the uh, bronze medalist from uh, the Tokyo Olympics, together with uh, Aaron Cha, now with a uh, scratch partner. Uh, Nuri Sudin with the uh, compression uh, tights. And uh, Suwayik with the uh, headband. And from Canada, Philippe uh, Charon and uh, Maxime Thoreau. The doctors, perhaps, both players uh, are uh, doctors. Apart from playing badminton, it's uh, Maxime Thoreau with the uh, compression stockings. Sean, the uh, taller of uh, the two Canadian players. Wrong. Here is um, a doctor in uh, mathematics. Ninja, black or red? What's your choice? So he can uh, estimate the black, you'll be probability red. for winning this match, perhaps. You won the toss. More accurately than uh, many others. Who will serve? You're serving. Who's receiving? Philip is receiving. On the left. Good luck. So, relations uh, on the coin toss, elected to serve and. Canadians are staying on uh, this near side of the court. So here is the uh, new what is um, 23 years of age from uh, Kluang in um, the uh, southernmost province on the Malaysian uh, peninsula, Johor. Kluang situated in uh, almost the center of uh, the Malaysian state. Normally plays with uh, Gu Si Fei. And uh, so we Yik, his partner of today. Also, um, 23 years of age, but um, half a year younger than uh, Isubin. Here's uh, Philippe Charon, 32 years of age from um, Montreal in uh, Canada. He's played um, from 10 to 15 some tournaments with Toby. Uh, and uh, reached the ranking of uh, 72nd in the world together with him. And his partner here today is um, Max Till. He's from uh, Drummondville. And uh, that is 120 kilometers northeast of uh, Montreal, between Montreal and uh, Quebec. He's at uh, his highest ranking is with Philippe Chalong at 186, but they haven't played. Um, more than one tournament in uh, the last three years or so, so they're now at 1600 or something in the rankings. Freebound Chi is a umpire. Ready to play. 
So the one tournament that they played was the Pan Am Mixed Team Championships back in 2020. Sharon and uh, Tero, who is uh, also a doctor. He's not a doctor in mathematics. He's uh, a general practitioner. So if uh, someone gets a scratch on the other side or anything happens, he can help with that. And uh, Sharon takes care of the mathematics. If you only play one tournament and it's a team tournament just like this, Thomas Cobb, you uh, basically get your average points. And if you don't have any points, you only get 10% um, of uh, your opponent's points as a bonus. And that's uh, not necessarily a whole lot. So that's why um, we don't see them ranked any higher. Takes 10 tournaments or team competitions, nine tournaments, one team competition to Ladies get the optimal Malaysia, number to uh, count towards the rankings. And so on my left, Canada, represented by Maxime Tetro and Philippe Charon. Malaysia to serve, Louis Jardine and Philippe Charon. Now the Malaysians are huge favourites in um, this match here. No doubt about it. Um, Tuho and uh, Sharon also played um, in the team match against Japan and lost to. Uh, Kuro Hoki and Taichi Saito scored uh, nine and two points. So, um, as you might have guessed, they are not um, playing badminton professionally. They have um, they have a day job, so to speak, and. Um, Going to see that there's different in um, difference in skills here. hit by uh, Tiro. but um, they're insisting so and um, Isudin so normally partnering uh, Aaron Cha and uh, secured Malaysian success at the uh, recent Olympics when they won the bronze medal and uh, also part of the uh, bronze medaling uh, team at the uh, Isudin Cup two weeks ago in uh, Finland where amongst others uh, they uh, defeated uh, Gideon and Sukamulio 
when they, for the first time ever in uh, Sudirman Cup, uh, beat Indonesia 3 2 in uh, the quarterfinal. Also, runners up at um, All England back in uh, 2019. A more match against um, Asan and Sechuan with um, Sechuan a bit injured in that match, managed to win it anyway. Noel Sudin not uh, as strong um, accomplishments as uh, his partner was the uh, runner-up of the Malaysian Masters 2017. That is some um, best results so far for him together with partner Go Si Fei. Currently ranked 26th in the world um, with uh, his regular partner whilst Su Yik is 8th with uh, Aaron Cha. There's a traffic jam on the uh, Canadian side there. Uh, missed it and uh, it's the Malaysians with a um, comfortable lead here at the mid-game interval. 11-3. That one stays on uh, the Canadian side. Difficult task is on there, Mike Butler. Um, and uh, he can help uh, his players to uh, do a little better. He cannot get them to uh, change this match around. There's simply too big a difference in um, skills level. doing a postdoctoral research in the field of spectral geometry. In the Department of uh, Mathematics at Technion Israel Institute of Technology. He studies the geometric properties of heat flow in an object. And um, that's sort of my limit in terms of uh, geometry. Well, played by Sharon, they are very alert. No, I think they could um, perhaps get some points on uh, the board as I feel the uh, concentration has dipped a little bit with the uh, two Malaysians, which um, I think is quite natural. Out. Service over 15-5. The latest um, international tournament, apart from the uh, Pan Am Mixed Team Championship, was back in 2018 in uh, Turkey, where they lost the um, second round to uh, Sharon Isudin and uh, Suwiyik. They've never played um, together before tonight, except in practice, perhaps. 17 5. Uh, he's got a big reach, Philippe Charon, but uh, not enough for that one. Yeah. 
I actually won a um, silver medal in the 2012 Panama uh, Championships with uh, Phyllis Chen. Advantage in the um, server situation to score some points. That's well worked by uh, the two Canadians. Well, he's unharmed to that came really fast. That uh, reply from. Uh, Nuri Sudin and his uh, game point opportunities. First time of asking, 21 7 to uh, Nuri Sudin and Suwe uh, Yik. As um, the pairs change in for the Lickin interval. Underway. So we can only uh, is about to uh, put Malaysia up uh, four 0 in this um, team tie here. Run, love. Uh, against uh, the two doctors from Canada, Jim Sharon, Doctor in Mathematics, and uh, Max Turo, General Practitioner. And they're actually one of the uh, few pairs that has uh, encountered a win of 30-29 in the uh, deciding game. That was back in uh, Dutch International 2018, where they beat uh, Danish youngsters Lauritsen and Moorholm. 13-29 on the decider, before losing out to Hüppel and uh, Thuré. Thuré, who had his debut for Denmark two weeks ago in Sudirman Cup in uh, Finland. Good service return. There's a good chance to score some points in uh, the service return for uh, Two Canadians. Swing's gone in, so will you track it, I think. Just landed in. But um, line judge covered um, 
open his eyes, couldn't see it, so um, the umpire calls it onside, and that means that um, Hawkeye is making the decision. No challenges charged from any of the pairs. It was indeed long. Our best rally of the match here. Consistent play by uh, the two Canadians, but um, the moment they are not uh, really uh, on top of things in the rally, then uh, the Malaysians take over the uh, initiative, and when they do so, it's dangerous. They're just so fast with the rackets. Seven, two. But uh, in fact, they are no match for uh, Isurin and uh, So. It's a little bit like uh, sometimes you might sit at home wondering a good national player. How would it be to uh, stand there on court and face uh, Gideon and uh, Sukemurio? And uh, this is uh, Nine, two. something like it. Yeah. Ten, Just moves two. right into it, uh, Suwayik. It's so fast with the rackets compared to his uh, opponents. Fearless. Out. Short service from uh, Sudan. Yeah. 
Well played by the Malaysians, but also well played by uh, Tiro and uh, Sharon. They're not scoring points, but um, some uh, very encouraging rallies for the two Canadians. They've fallen behind here in the uh, second game as expected, 11-3. Full power. Service over. Sharon, and that uh, over. actually is much more efficient than um, using max power against um, these two Malaysians. being alert when you get the chance to um, score points like this. You normally have um, difficulties uh, setting up the uh, front court player, the two Canadians. the game, the way you see it, um, as your eyes train to uh, perceive things at the speed that's happening. For the Canadians it's uh, max speed and for the Malaysians it's like um, they've got um, it feels for them like they've got all the time in the world because of the uh, skill difference. Service over 815. Scored some good points in the service situation as they show on in uh, Tiro. One of the more difficult shots. Yeah, he should have lifted. He realized it immediately after he tried to play the more creative uh, net shot. Sean. Uh, good attack. So we can see that um, if the skill level had dipped with their opponents um, then um, could have been a whole different uh, story so they call it. 
country that um, was not as um, broad, so to speak, in terms of men's doubles combinations and men's doubles players. Malaysia have five or six really, really capable combinations. Then um, there could have been more suspense in uh, the match that uh, Tuvo and Sharon were playing. reached uh, double figures here in uh, the second game. So now match points for Su and uh, Sudin. But um, it ends here. They did everything they could. Uh, the two Canadians. They uh, were just up against uh, players that was uh, considerably uh, better than uh, themselves. But uh, did uh, everything they could. Put in uh, a hard fight for it, and uh, it's no doubt been a great experience for the two Canadians. For um, Yik here in uh, Norway, Sudin. Yeah. It's been a day at the office, and uh, in just 24 minutes, as you can see, 21.7, 21.10. And I don't know if we're going to have uh, a little break here before BR Sankir comes on court again, because he's entitled to um, half an hour break between his matches, and um, yeah, there might actually have been elapsed uh, half an hour since uh, the uh, men's single. It takes a little time to get the players on and off court. Yeah. So Yik Nuresudin is walking off together with uh, Philippe Chalon and uh, Max Togo. Now, uh, the uh, decisive rally here. It's uh, clear that uh, we are only uh, waiting for the last match of um, tonight's session here on uh, Court 2. It's going to be more uh, competitive than uh, this match, the way I see it. Um, next match coming up is the first men's double with uh, B.R. Sankit and uh, Neil Yakura from Canada. They are up against uh, Aaron Cha and Gosi Fei from Malaysia. Photos of um, the players that we're going to see just after the highlights from uh, this second men's doubles between Malaysia and Canada. 